sir, I desire you to do me right and justice, and to bestow your pity on me. For I am a most poor woman, and a stranger born out of your dominions, having here no judge indifferent, nor no more assurance of equal friendship and proceeding. Alas, sir, in what have I offended you? What cause have my behaviour given to your displeasure, that thus you should proceed to put me off and take your good grace from me? Heaven witness, I have been to you a true and humble wife. At all times to your will conformable, ever in fear to kindle your dislike. Yea, subject to your countenance, glad or sorry, as I saw it inclined. When was the hour I ever contradicted your desire? Or made it not mine too? Or which of your friends have I not strove to love, although I knew he were mine enemy? What friend of mine that had to him derived your anger did I continue in my liking? Nay, gave notice. He was from thence discharged. Sir, call to mind that I have been your wife in this obedience upward of twenty years, and have been blessed with many children by you. If in the course and process of this time you can report and prove it too, against mine honour aught, my bond to wedlock, or my love and duty against your sacred person, in God's name turn me away, and let the foulest contempt shut door upon me, and so give me up to the sharpest kind of justice. Please you, sir, the king, your father, was reputed for a prince most prudent, of an excellent and unmatched wit and judgment. Ferdinand, my father, king of Spain, was reckoned one the wisest prince that there had reigned by many a year before. It is not to be questioned that they had gathered a wise counsel to them of every realm that did debate this business, who deemed our marriage lawful. Wherefore, I humbly beseech you, sir, to spare me, till I may be by my friends in Spain advised, whose counsel I will implore. If not, in the name of God, your pleasure be fulfilled.